Are we gonna talk about relationships? Yes, yes we are. This time on the Daily Disciple Pro- I don't know what our intro is anymore. What's up guys, my name is Isaac, and this is the Daily Disciple, where I help you follow Jesus daily. First off, before we get into this very interesting video about when you're ready for a relationship, I just want to give a huge shout out to the people over at the Daily Disciple Club. That's what it's called now on Patreon. It's an amazing uh, community of people that are passionate about Jesus and excited about helping to get this content out to people, help them in their walk with Christ, help them follow Jesus daily. So thank you for all of you guys who are over there at patreon.com slash daily underscore disciple. And if you want to join the Daily Disciple Club, do that link in the description. Now, on to this very anticipated video. Okay, so on Instagram, which you can follow me there, at It's Isaac David, I asked you guys a very interesting question that was on my mind, and I asked, when is someone ready to pursue a romantic relationship? Asking for a friend. Guys, I've done this for you because I just care about you guys and I love you. Um, I wanted to get everybody's different perspective about this and pull it all together in this one video, read off some of the most interesting answers to this topic dig through them because honestly I have a lot more questions than answers about this I'm not a relationship expert I've never been in a relationship I've been open about that to you guys so I come into this as just somebody that really doesn't know anything <laughs> but I'm interested in reading what you guys had to say on Instagram so let's get into it okay here's one comment it says I'd say when you're mature in all areas of your life and when God says it's time this was kind of a consensus among people like hey you gotta have a certain certain level of maturity. The problem with maturity is that it's a very um, a subjective thing in a sense. Like in, in the one sense, like you know when somebody's mature and they're displaying qualities of maturity, but at the same time, it's like a level of maturity, that's a very tough thing to gauge. So when we talk about, okay, you gotta be at a certain level of maturity, what is that? There are a lot of like, yeah, like a lot of subjectivity here and I'm looking for some answers. Okay, we'll keep going on. Okay, here's another comment. When you are satisfied with God alone and know that you can pursue God first and that person second. I think there's a big aspect. This is just my, like I said, I'm not an expert, all this kind of thing. But it's like, yes, you need to have your relationship with God firmly planted. You can't be all of a sudden saying, hey, you know, I don't know if this God thing's working out for me. Maybe I got to find somebody else to fill that hole. But at the same time, there are those desires, right? Like you, you, when we talk about being completely satisfied in God, yes, but that doesn't mean that there's no desires to like pursue somebody, right? So, so how do we, how do we gauge that, right? It's like, how do you know you are, you know, firmly satisfied in God? And then all of a sudden you're like, you know, I'm ready to go because at the same time, like, is it just when you can say, I don't even want a relationship because I just love God so much? Because I don't think that's a, I don't think that's, that's, that's it. Because even though you can love God so much, you still have those desires in your heart to be with somebody eventually. I don't know, more questions than answers here. That's somebody saying, speaking for myself right now, I feel I'm ready to put myself out there and date again. Having learned um, myself and knowing what I actually want for a potential partner, it is when you have the acceptance of who you are personally that you are able to accommodate the other person in your life since all you need from them is a teammate. Okay, so this idea that you gotta know yourself. You gotta know, you know what you're like and what you're looking for in a potential spouse. And this is something that I kind of thought about, like, yeah, you know, there are certain things that I would want in a potential spouse, spouse, but I've never really put it on paper or anything like that. And this is kind of a silly thing to think about, but my younger brother was actually talking to me about it and he was saying, you know, it might actually be a good idea to get those things on paper, the things that you're looking for in a potential spouse. That's a good idea too. Knowing yourself, knowing what you're looking for, that might be a good sign once those things are in place that you might be getting closer to being ready to pursue a relationship. Okay, so this was perhaps the most interesting comment and I think we can have a little bit of a healthy, you know, debate discussion on this one. Okay, so somebody said, I don't think it's a really matter of you putting yourself out there. God's plan is God's plan. 
we're just treating marriage like something God's not in charge of. It's not a matter of trying to be in a relationship. There's no going out and hunting for a mate. Pursue Jesus. Go where he tells you to go. Do what honors him. Be obedient to his plan and he'll put what he wants for you in your path because we were never meant to chase each other. It's all about chasing Jesus. This has been really interesting thinking about this kind of question. I think there's a couple camps. So there's one camp that definitely says, hey, you know, you don't really need to do anything to find a spouse. You just kind of live your life, do what God wants you to do, go the places that God wants you to be. And all of a sudden somebody will pop up and then that'll be it. It'll be over. You know, you'll get married and happily ever after, at least to a degree. Um, and then there's another camp that I feel like I'm more in. Okay, I'll, I'll give you this analogy. Maybe this makes sense to you. There's a lot of things in life that we have to go to get. That doesn't mean that God hasn't provided for us just because we work a job and then we get food. That doesn't mean that God didn't provide us the food, but he used the means to accomplish getting that food, right? It's all a gift from God. So my question is, is couldn't that be the same? I imagine a lot of people in very good, godly, healthy relationships they went out and found a partner. That doesn't mean you're being physical with everyone you meet. That doesn't mean you're throwing your heart at everybody you meet, but that means you're putting yourself in situations and having opportunities, intentional opportunities, where you can meet people. I don't think that's not trusting God because I think part of it is we often attribute like, um, this advice might be more for females. Okay, I'm just gonna put it that way because I think there's a certain element in the biblical context, the complementarian context of how we tend to do relationships and roles of men and women is that the woman usually gets pursued, right? And so if you're talking about a woman and you're saying, hey, don't go out and try to find a man, just keep doing your thing and God will place someone there for you or whatever. Like, okay, I could understand that. That, that, that makes sense to me. But for a guy, if you're saying, hey, never go out and put yourself in like, intentional opportunities, maybe opportunity, like places you wouldn't go otherwise, I'm not saying they're bad places, but like maybe different events or different things like that. And, you know, start meeting people and maybe and try to pursue somebody that seems to be a, like a person that might be a potential spouse or at least get to know them. I think that is completely within God's, God's plan. Like, I don't think that we should be telling people that you just got to sit on your butt or just keep doing what you're doing, your nine to five, and then go to church where there's no people that are eligible or whatever. And just that's it. Right. And, and this isn't to say that I don't think God is control. I totally think God's in control, but I believe that God uses means. And if God puts that desire in your heart to be in a relationship, then I don't think that is a sign to just not do anything. I think that's a sign to wisely go go do something about it. <laughs> like like I don't and, I, and this idea of jumping into a relationship. Obviously, you don't want to jump into just a random relationship. But I think for a man, there's a comes a time when you're just like, I'm I'm ready to be in a relationship, whether that means financially, spiritually, emotionally, whatever. And, and now you are putting yourself in opportunities where you can meet people and potentially find that spouse in places where you wouldn't normally be. And I think there's a difference there because look, I can go along my daily life and not really encounter that many new people, right? But in this, if this was my goal to meet somebody, I would be much more um, concerned or um, intentional about putting myself in new places and new you know, new opportunities to meet people. But that doesn't mean that God's not a part of that. I think that's all part of God's plan. Like he uses means. Anyway, that's kind of a rant. I have a lot more questions than answers about this, but that's kind of my perspective right now. Okay, so I have a lot more to say about this. We, we're gonna talk at some point soon about dating and courting and just how those different worlds works. And and because I think I, I've come across some um, um, I, I, my mind's been changed a, a bunch in, in that realm, but we're going to wait for that for another video because like this video, I don't know how helpful this was for you. I just wanted to air some of my thoughts. As I said, a lot more questions and answers for me, but I think ultimately we're all trying for the same thing. We're all trying to follow God in this area of our life. And so, man, let's keep doing that. Keep pursuing Jesus 
And um, if you have any thoughts, I would really like to hear them in the comments down below. Um, this is something where every time I see a comment, it helps me, helps me gain wisdom from you guys. And so thank you for that. Subscribe down below because uh, putting out new videos every single Thursday. Can you believe that? It's so exciting. If you want to follow me on all my socials, you can follow me on TikTok, on Instagram, on uh, where else am I? I don't know. You can sign up for the Daily Disciple Club down below, of course. And uh, yeah, I don't know what else is going on. So thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.